could have a hundred cups of something, it would be this. It would be this. Good morning and welcome to my favorite breakfast of all time. This used to be made at a restaurant that I love, but we're gonna do a stovetop frittata. So let's get cooking. Could be my favorite breakfast of all time. Ooh, cephalic phase of digestion. Stove top frittata. I can't even get a good bite. I'm so nervous. Here we go. Phenomenal. Absolutely unbelievable. That is so insanely good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so I've been making this adaptogenic chai all fall long, all autumn long. And this is the first time that, so the, the Element came out with their new chai flavor, which is just insane, it's limited edition. This is the first time that I've never added any sweetener into it and it doesn't need sweetener. That says a lot for me because I like things sweet. This is so nourishing too because you have the reishi in there which is so amazing, so good for immunity this time of year. But the element in there, it adds in those electrolytes. Magnesium is so important, so relaxing, helps to relax your muscles and just overall relaxation. And also the potassium in there is so important to help you with hormones because it helps to regulate our blood sugar and also thyroid hormone. It makes our cells sensitive to thyroid hormone and sodium is really important for fluid balance, which is so important for actually the health of our cells because we actually, we want balance. We don't want too much water in the cell. We don't want not enough. Obviously we don't want to be dehydrated and that's the thing. Sodium and potassium actually allow your cells to open up and allow water to flow through through. And so this is the perfect little concoction, a great way to start the day, get all of your electrolytes in. You can go to drinkelement.com slash Cambria and you're going to get the free sample pack with your order and this, they're doing the limited edition. This is the time to get Element. Definitely snag the limited edition chocolate medley because it's so good. It has the chocolate mint, chai, and raspberry. I love the chai. They're all so good though. Like I'm obsessed with all of them. There's one thing that you can do to just simply help your body and your health is get your body the minerals that it needs and uses and requires. That's the thing with minerals. We can't make them. We have to eat them. We have to consume them. You are quite literally giving yourselves what they need. Literally. They need it. They need electrolytes. They need magnesium. Our body can't even... Anyway, I could talk on and on and on about this forever. There's a reason that I love Element so much and it's because I believe in minerals and electrolytes so much and because I myself was so deficient for so many years in magnesium, potassium. We actually need a lot more than we think. Same thing with sodium. We need a lot more than, especially if we're stressed, having adrenal problems, we need sodium. Like very nourishing to the adrenal glands, very important, very, we just, we burn through these minerals like crazy. And so simple, simple, simple way to add in is through an electrolyte packet. I love Element. They don't add anything weird. They don't add any artificial color sweeteners, flavors, anything like that. It's just everything that you want, nothing that you don't. If I could have a hundred cups of something, it would be this. It would be this. Okay, this is what I call a rainy day dinner because I got a beef shank from our local farm. It was on sale, so I had to snag it, but I really like cuts of meat like this because they're very gelatinous and that's really good because we want that collagen from those connective tissues. Very, very rich in collagen and those amino acids are so important. They're necessary for our liver health, 
for our liver cells to do what they need to do and play a huge role, a massive, massive role in detoxification, the role. Uh, we, we can't detoxify without uh, our liver that needs certain amino acids. So that is what we're gonna have for dinner. So incredibly easy. I'm gonna make this so easy. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of bone broth. So I haven't made my bone broth in a while, but let me see, where is my bone broth at? So this bone broth is amazing, the Rolly Roddy bone broth. So I'm literally just gonna add in a little bit of that, some salt and pepper. Can we believe it's the end of 2024? 2020, did I? 2023. Finally have my calendar back on my fridge. It makes me so happy. Okay. And those gelatinous cuts, the gelatin is very rich in the amino acid glycine, which specifically our liver needs to make bile. And bile is really important for our hormone balance because we need bile to bind onto those excess hormones and get it out of the body. And glycine is one of the most important amino acids that the liver needs in order to make bile and, and do that. Okay, so we're gonna sweat. Look at that. And that's what I wanna see for that bone broth, that wiggly, jiggly bone broth. Wiggly, jiggly. I don't know why that just makes me, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> pepper, Gordon Ramsay taught me a lot of pepper. Put all this salt on there. Gonna add a little bit. This Trader Joe's umami seasoning is so good. It is amazing. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of that. High for four hours because this is a smaller one. So we are gonna kind of make like a little bit of an extra lunch today just because it's rainy, it's cozy. I want something warm and hearty and I've just been sitting inside obviously all day doing, actually I did get a little bit of a walk in earlier with Meester but that was before it really started downpouring. But we are gonna make like a little cozy chicken pot pie. It just sounds so warm and comforting and it just sounded really good. So that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna whip it up. Definitely could be a dinner but I already have the crock pot going which is also very cozy. So we're just gonna be really cozy today. Okay, so we're gonna start out with three cups of flour, gluten-free flour. By the way, side note, I'm gonna start, I'm going to attempt to make gluten-free bread, like sourdough bread, not just like gluten-free bread. Sorry, I should have said that. I should have said that. Gluten-free sourdough. I'm gonna attempt to start making it. So we're gonna see how that goes. But anyway, we have three cups of flour. I'm following a recipe online and it calls for two sticks of butter. So in goes the butter. If there's one thing that you need in your kitchen, it's a chopper. You always talking about leaving. Milk cotton black and white face. Smile baking for the picture. Parents waiting in the driveway. Oh my darling Arizona. Why are you packing up your suitcase? Hasn't anybody told you? Let's try this. Oh my goodness. I've never made a chicken pot pie before, but I'll tell you a rainy day, it's a good day to do that. It reminds me of when I was a little girl. I think we went to Marie Callender's. This like brings back happy memories for me. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna eat another serving of this. Dinner, super simple side. These are my famous potatoes. I'm just calling them famous because they're just so good. So we're just gonna do some golden potatoes. And potatoes are super rich in potassium. And potassium is a really hard mineral to get enough of every day. We need 4,700 milligrams of potassium per day. Potatoes are a great way to get your potassium in because the skin, and just potatoes in general, but the skin really is really, really high in potassium. I'm just gonna throw them in some boiling water with some salt. Okay, while dinner is being made, I'm gonna make my drink. This is good because it feeds the bifidobacteria in your gut, which is really important. Where is my stuff? I'm gonna do two for one. I'm gonna add the cranberry juice and I'm also going to add in the chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is great because it's really rich in copper. And this is really important. This is one of the things that really helped me to get pain-free periods because your liver needs copper to again just do what your liver does which is detoxify chlorophyll is awesome because it's a very very rich source of copper and then of course the cranberry juice if you watch my 10 habits that i'm doing every single day 
Uh, this is one of those habits and get the cranberry juice in there because there's something about the red pigments that feed that certain bacteria. So I'm going to make, I think our, I still don't even know where. I'm gonna make a little drink. How beautiful is the Swiss chard that I got from the farmer's market. Swiss chard is actually really rich in potassium as well. here for a couple like Cameron. <laughs> so my brain is uh new we it. had it's not bad that we can't remember like two days ago yeah and then, yummy I, I need some elbow room here kind of my i can't eat like with t-rex arm the swiss chart is good with that garlic look at the colors in that mm. thing. It's really good i really like the swiss chard <laughs> We just got back from a little walk in the rain. It was more of a drizzle than the rain, but it is time to make my mineral tea. This is the best stuff ever. If you're struggling with painful periods, I am telling you, this combination is amazing. And I'm in my luteal phase right now, so I always make sure. Like I always try to have this regularly, but I've been very out of routine because of moving three times in three months, but we're getting back into the routines and that made me think of today like I'm, I'm trying so hard to do fiber anyway it's fine it's fine can't do it all you know what I mean so slowly but surely we're gonna get back into everything this mineral tea is so good I'm gonna start out with two tablespoons of nettle I literally was like is that a cat it's my husband singing in the shower so if you hear noises it's Bo in the shower. Next thing we have oat straw. Oat straw is very rich in magnesium and magnesium as we know is very important for muscle relaxation. So if you think about that with your uterus, just in general, every single muscle in your body, but it's really important, especially and very helpful for periods. So now we're doing red raspberry, which is so amazing for women's health. Red raspberry leaf, this smells so good. I love the smell of it. So I'm gonna do two huge heaping tablespoons of that. Get a little bit more herbs in the bottom of that jar. Okay, three tablespoons of everything. Honestly, I don't really measure this either. I just kind of go for it. This is a lot of tea though. So you have to think about that. This is gonna be like cups and cups of tea. Pour in your hot water, fill it all the way to the top. About nine cups of boiling water. It's very important to let this steep overnight so that it really can, the minerals can, or the, well, the minerals, but yes, but the tea that you'll get the minerals, that you're really going to infuse it into the water and make sure that you're getting a really, really nutrient dense infusion. So it's important to let it infuse overnight or at least for like six hours if you can. Okay, yesterday was such a yummy day of eats, but I'm come eats, but I'm coming to tell you I'm so excited that I'm just like I'm coming at you with a giveaway. This giveaway is from Element and they are going to give you an Element branded kettle. This is the kettle that they're giving you. Wow. That is, I'm, I'm so excited for one of you to win this. And you're also going to get the winter recipe guide from Element. It's their hydration recipe guide. So super amazing. And then you're also going to win the limited edition box. This has all of the limited chocolate flavors. That is the chocolate mint, chocolate chai, and chocolate raspberry. They're so incredibly delicious. Okay, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is tell me in the comments, even if you haven't tried Element yet and you wanna try it, 
what one recipe that you would make with one of these. So either the chocolate mint, chocolate chai, or the chocolate raspberry. So good, chocolate and raspberry is just like, it's unbelievable. They're all so good. So any drink ideas, and that way we can make them together and kind of get inspired. So obviously I did my adaptogenic chai, with the chai, which was so, it's so delicious. I cannot even put into words how good that it is. But how amazing is this giveaway? I'm so excited. What an amazing kettle. These are so good, such fun, limited edition flavors. I love Element so much. And I am so excited that one of you is going to win. Merry Christmas. I love you so very much. Thank you so much for just hanging out with me this year and just, my goodness, the last few months have just been so incredibly wild and I just cannot say enough how much I appreciate you and how much I really am looking forward to this new upcoming year to 2024 and just being rejuvenated, hopefully yet again, and really just pouring out for you once again and creating amazing content and podcast emails, everything. I just feel very ready for it. I've felt really like I've not had a lot to give. I'm just so excited for this upcoming year and I hope that you have just a beautiful Christmas and New Year's and I'm so excited for this giveaway and I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Literally that frittata is so delicious. Words cannot explain how good it is with the feta and the basil in the eggs. It just elevates it so much. The chicken pot pie, I've never actually made chicken pot pie before. It just sounded really good and it was so good. And I feel like too, over the years, I wasn't, I, I don't really think about it very much, very much anymore just because I'm like holding this box. I'm like holding it, but I don't, I don't really think about it very much anymore with just, you know, binging and struggling with food because I just enjoy food now and I just eat and nourish my body. But I was reflecting on it this past week and thinking about that and just thinking about, you know, how far I've come. I saw a video online that really made me think about that and think about binge eating and think about just the struggle that food used to be in my life and how I I got to a point with binging that I just never thought I would even be able to enjoy food again. And especially just around the holidays, I just really want you to know that you are just free. You're free to enjoy your food and to not have it be associated with anything morally whatsoever. You can just enjoy your food, whatever it is, whatever kind of food it is, that there's no such thing as good or bad food. And really Really thinking about it through the lens of how am I eating the food and that is the most nourishing thing that you could ever do is actually instead of what I found focusing so much on the plate focusing on your heart and how really and I won't get into all the studies that I've even been reading recently but it is amazing how powerful our minds really are I just want to say that you know if you are struggling with food or you're just it may be struggling even with your body right now, you know, body image and looking in the mirror and maybe just not feeling, uh, you're not feeling yourself or you're just struggling and you don't know why or you feel like you're always fighting uh, with your body and against your body. I just wanna say that, you know, you're not alone. And even this past year with all the health things and challenges that I have been through, there was just moments where I was just so terrified to even work out and I mean, I you're just not alone. You really are not alone. And it's really just not our fault either in the world that we live in with hyper palatable foods and then also just comparison and honestly just there's so many things. There's so many things that can pull us down, but I just hope that you find here a place where you can just be built up and that you can see that you can eat food and nourish your body aside even from food, aside from food. I love making these kinds of videos because actually I just love to cook and I, I love that. And it's funny because the last thing I'll say, I don't get that my, my speech, but even when I was younger, you know, I'd watch the Food Network and I love to cook. And that was before, imagine that, thinking about the time that, you know, you were just a kid and you looked in the mirror and you just looked at your outfit and you never looked at your body and like how beautiful that really is. You always just come here and realize that you can enjoy your food and more importantly, enjoy your life because life is more than food. Life is more than food, Jesus said. And that is just the truth. We're meant to enjoy food and we're meant to enjoy what food brings for us. Company, laughter, sitting around the table, sharing stories. We're meant to enjoy so much more than food, but life is more than food. And so I hope that you can remember that just this season and 
even as we go into this next year. So I love you so much. Don't forget to leave your comment and enter the giveaway. What a fun, awesome giveaway. Thank you, Element. We all love you so much. And I just love you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click thumbs up. And there's so much goodness to come in this upcoming year. So, okay. I will see you in my next video. Bye.